Hi everyone, welcome to Bio 110, Anatomy and Physiology. This is an online self-paced course. This course will give you the unique opportunity to complete an entire Anatomy and Physiology course just the same as you would if you were in a classroom setting, but do it totally online without the need to show up to any place at any particular time and without the need to commute either by car, train, or subway. This is an exciting course and we have tried to make it as straightforward for you as possible so you can enjoy the experience uh, and the ability of taking in what is really a significant amount of, of material uh, in a very short time. You will pace the course according to your schedule so you can complete these modules that I'll be describing to you uh, as quickly as you like. The format of the course is this and get used to me uh, doing that, racing my board, because as you go through the videos, which I'll give you an example of uh, briefly here, uh, I will be accenting the areas that you really need to remember. So you'll see me underline, and then you'll see me erase as we go from slide to slide. But the basic format is this, and it's important that you understand this uh, as we get started here. You will have uh, short, lecture videos from me which will uh, be based on the textbook that you have for this course. For each of these short lecture videos we have posted for you pre-lecture questions. This is important. As I, sh as I told you, one of my degrees is in anatomy and physiology instruction. <coughs> this course needs repetition. You need to be able, <coughs> excuse me, to uh, ingrain the material. And the way that we found that uh, does that most effectively is through active studying. <clears throat> the difference between active and passive studying. Active studying is, is causing energy to be used in your brain cells. <clears throat> the more energy your brain cells use, the greater they are open to the new material. And as you're reading the chapter, answer the questions. That's the difference between active and passive studying. If I ask you to read a couple of pages, and, and, and again, remember, we're talking about a textbook, not a romance novel or a great thriller, so your attention tends to wander. So reading a textbook, it's hard to concentrate for those three or four paragraphs. But if I give you something to do or something to find in those three or four paragraphs or diagrams, uh, that keeps you tuned in. That keeps you active on the material. Again, the more active you are, uh, the greater your appreciation for the material and the greater the facilitation of, of the process of remembering that material. Here's what you'll see when you open up the lecture video. You'll see me, just as you're seeing me here. Uh, this happens to be, we're looking at module 12. I just took a screenshot, module 12, lecture 5. But that's what you'll be seeing. You'll be seeing me. We'll be working together. As I said, I will be highlighting things uh, on the slide as we go. The slides that I use, the diagrams that I use, will all be from your textbook. So we're talking, talking here in lecture 1 about the spinal cord uh, and the specific regions that we want to know about. So let's get started. I want to remind you, though, again, of stepping back here and looking at the big picture, because neurology uh, is a complex science. But it doesn't have to be as complex as a lot of people make it. Again, and I, I'm going to come back to the, the neuron, the anatomy of the neuron, the physiology of the neuron, the physiology of an action potential, nerve pathways, everything we've talked about, keep those in mind because what you're looking at here is a cross-section of axons. And those axons uh, can, can be myelinated right, or unmyelinated. They have connective tissue uh, linings surrounding them. We're going to get a little more specific about those, and you're going to see how very similar they are, excuse me, to the connective tissue that we talked about around muscle. But remember this guy here. Remember this guy here. This is all that you're looking at here in that complicated looking mess uh, that you may, uh, you may have an impression of.
All right, folks, that gets us going. Come on back for lecture number two. I want to wish you good luck, and I hope you enjoy this experience. We're here for you uh, in order to uh, allow you to get all this information